Capricorns, my amazing freaking Capricorns. Welcome back, y'all. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Psychic Workout, where we will be doing psychic channeling, tarot card readings, and a fitness workout. So what we're doing fitness-wise, we're going to do a pull-up, okay? We're going to do a pull-down, which my pull-down machine's a bit funky. I've had to kind of doctor it up, so work with me here. Um, we may have to adjust that. We'll see. And then we'll go into a deadlift, all one set. So pull-ups, pull-downs, deadlifts, all one set. But first things first, y'all, you know what's up, Capricorn. Let's get a little psychic tarot channeling for you. Okay. So I want to find out a little bit more about love, y'all. What's your love life like? Huh? What's your love life like? We're going to start with some true emotional. Let's see what's going on with y'all. Okay. Fake busy. Also, happy 4th of July, everyone. Fake busy. We pulled this card a lot, and I've shuffled this deck about 100,000 times. You're not fake busy at all. Uh, some of you are procrastinating, definitely. I mean, we are Capricorns, but you're not procrastinating. It's like you're waiting for this perfect time, but it's not you're waiting for the perfect time because you're doing some art, artsy work. You're doing the thing you love to do, right? Something about it makes you feel odd or off because you're maybe you're not making money from it and you want to know how to make money from it. Keep doing it. That it, it illuminates your soul, right? It, it, it lights you up. Uh, I pulled a card the other day in the in the deck we'll use here as well, the Light Oracle deck, and it said Star Seed because you're a Star Seed, right? You're an angelic being. What lights you up? You're not fake busy. You know, there is a part of us though that I'm feeling is is you, you should be focused on work more because we are Capricorns, right? Um, figure out, and this is what I'm hearing uh, for advice for you. Figure out how to make what you're doing your passion, your work, right? Because then it's not work. Like I was doing. Uh, workout videos and then doing psychic channeling videos and I said you know what I love doing both let's combine them more importantly I'm an actor as well so I'm making videos I'm working out and I'm, I'm channeling for you all all in one all in one and and you'll figure it out meditate some of the pottery as well pottery of life is what I'm getting you're really making you're making your life you're making your life amazing and, and I know at first it may look Odd because you're not very good at pottering or your art, but your life is your art. Remember that. Your life is your art. If it's making videos for someone watching, wake up and just start talking to the camera. Uh, you know, while you make breakfast on your way to work or, or to the gas station or the grocery store and just talk. Be careful driving, of course, everybody. Of course, of course. Um, but film yourself in. I don't know if you can film yourself in the grocery store because there's people that might be a thing. But or put it in the in the um, in the shopping cart and have it facing up, looking at you. Be careful while you're in the grocery store for swingers and polyamorous people. They'll try to hit you with their cart. Kid you not. It's like they don't even see you, but they're trying to hit you with their cart and give you one of these. And men and women, they do. They try to stare in your eyes like this, and it's creepy as shit. But they're swingers. They're trying. To, it's a sex thing. Uh, I've had it done many different ways. They'll have a pineapple in their true story. True story, it really happens. I've had it, I was dating someone and they did it while I was in the grocery store with them. It's nuts, it's nuts, it's nuts. And it's insecurity and fear and manipulation. That's not you, Capricorn, that is not you. I don't care what deck says devil card. No, 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 no. We are badass mother, shut your mouth individuals. That's who we are and you know it. So you're not fake busy, you're figuring it out, okay? You gotta take action on some things. Have fun, have fun. Taste the fourth, go enjoy, have fun. I'm making videos today. I'm doing what I do because that's what I love to do, baby. Cacao! We're not done here. Hold on there, Capricorn. Yes! Yes, Capricorn. Yes, I wanna know about love life, but you know what I've got right here? You know what I've got right here? Is that proper English? Whatever, whatever, ever. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna ziggy zigzag. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, everybody. I don't know what a ziggy zig. Is that what I've been doing wrong in dating? It's not, because I'm a Capricorn too. You know what we've been doing right, Capricorns? Happily single. Oh, yeah. Let's get that out of the light right there. Happily single. You know it. Look at this. Guys, girls, you're just living your best life. Having Maybe you have a lot of friends, right? Maybe you're dating some of your friends. Maybe you're that kind of friend. That's okay. You do you, Cappy Caps. You do you. As the card says, doing you. Dating, stress-free, setting goals, career focus. That's what we're doing right now. So again, it's not fake busy. You are focusing on your career. You are fo focusing on the most important person in your world. Me. Just kidding. You. You. You are the most important person in your world. You know that, okay? Now, I'm not getting the energy. Maybe some of you are putting yourself above everyone else. Like, that's right. They need to come and buy. No, 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 no. 
This is not kneel before Zod. This is kneel in humility, in, in being humble and, and grateful to the divine and thankful. And it's, it's hard sometimes for us. I get it. Everything is working for a reason. It's working out exactly how it's supposed to. You are achieving those goals. I mean, the card just said it right here. Okay. We're going to move on, y'all. We're going to move on. Let's get right over here to this uh, Lightworkers Oracle deck. We're going to split the deck. Protection. Call back your power. Cut the cords. Soul retrieval. Okay. Yes. Some of you present energy, but mainly past energy. You have dated the wrong people. Not only that, you've allowed the wrong people in. You're a very vibrant spirit, Capricorn. You're 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 energetic. You're excited. You're you're you've always had a great um, visual of life. If not, you're stepping into that. You're finally realizing that it may have taken you a long time. Uh, but I'm getting a majority of y'all have always had this great entrepreneur spirit. Is what I'm hearing for life. I Meaning you've been hungry for life in a good way, in a great way. You did not know, again, talking about these swinger people, right? And your friends around you did not know these mother fudgers were all around you. Literally, you know why they were focused on you? Because you were focused on you. I heard someone say that earlier and I was like, that's brilliant. That's, the, yeah, they're stalking you, by the way. They are stalking you. They are always looking at your social media. They always have, they're not even liking your stuff. They're just watching like creepy creepos. So, so cut those cords, okay? Protection. You are protected, Capricorn, okay? You are protected, right? You are, you are the badass mofo. You know you are. Woo! On the back of the card, I write little notes for myself. A fight. Yeah. Yeah, I know it feels like it's a fight, doesn't it? Maybe you've actually gotten physical altercations with, with these individuals, because that's what they want. Oh, you didn't even know, Capricorn. You didn't even know, and you fed into their, their, their delusions, right? And and they triggered you, and you didn't even know why. Because you're usually a very calm person, even though we have a lot of, you know, we're goats, baby. We're goats. We're stubborn, uh, determined, determined. Okay, but because that's what we can do. We can hang on to the side of that cliff, right? Like a goat, and then boom, climb our way up like a steep hill. We're badasses. But you weren't aware of these individuals. But that's what they love so much about you, how dedicated you are, how loyal you are to a fault. And they just came in like little suckers, suckers, and tried to suck your life from you. Mm -mm, you're protected. You're cutting those cords. You've learned. I'm getting a lot of seven sisters, uh, which I believe is a Pleiadian. Might be Orion. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, everybody. Eclipses and moon phases are very important for us. I love their arms. Look at their arms in here, if you can. They're like this, right? You're like this. I think that's part of that fake busy because you were out there working so hard for other people, right? But you have an employer frame of mind, not an employee frame of mind. You're not a penguin. You don't just go with the, you know, even when you are an employee, you lead the pack, you lead the way, you're a trailblazer and you know it. You've gotten to a point though, where you see these other people have used you for your energy while they're making the big bucks. They've somehow, well, they understand how to use people. We don't, right? We don't at all. We don't have to learn that. We're learning how to use our own magic, believing in our own magic, okay? But you have done this, bam, and your guides have helped you, right? You have, you have put up those boundaries. You've actually learned boundaries in your life. Isn't that crazy that we had to learn that? Not because, not because you were so naive or anything, no. They were freaking a-holes, okay? Man, they were such covert narcissists. So many more of those individuals are around than you know. The difference is some people are just a-holes because they're angry, right? But they become covert narcissists. They get with these people and they plan. That's the biggest difference. Like a psychopath, that's what they are. They plan to manipulate. They come up with these ideas to trigger you. So when they see you, they'll say that one thing and then like run away. And you get like, what the fuck? Or some, know what, know what you're really great at Capricorn? This is what you've done too, All right? You've done this. Okay, cool. I'm going to, all right. And just go about your day. And that pisses them off so much. Because A, it didn't bother you, but also you were like, that was fucking weird. Why would you, okay. What's your name again? <laughs> those, those covert, they hate that. They hate that. But I think we got to a point too, maybe, maybe low on our own self-esteem. Or you were just, I think you were just stressed. I think you were very busy working very hard. Capricorn, that's what we do, right? And, and they just got you at a point when you're doing something and they knew they could come in and just like neg you real quick. And you were like, what the, what are you? And they won. That's it. They got you. But you know what? It's not your fault. It's theirs. Remember that. Now, 
I know that's kind of tricky to say because we go around blaming other people. No, you've never done that. You weren't aware other people, again, are focused on you. Why? Because you're always focused on you and your goals and, and your career and your greatness, okay? Which makes them want to focus on you because they can't do that. They don't have the light inside of them. They do. They just don't know how to really tap into it, okay? They, they just, they'd rather, they'd rather siphon it from someone else, right? They try to lower your vibe. No way, baby. You float like a butterfly, sing like a bee. You vibe it up. Let's pull a little bit of tarot here. I just want to get a little final. <clears throat> I mean, Capricorn. We, I mean, we got a great, great time coming right here. Right here. Lovers card. Lovers. Not just lovers. Again, Star Seed. This is Mork and Mindy lovers. This is Star Cross lovers. This is uh, uh, Christopher Reeves and Lois Lane. You know what I'm saying? Superman and Lois Lane style. We're like... Like you are being brought, every little thing in the world is working together. Your ancestors, your, your exactly. Oh my goodness, this is like a reading I, whoa, this is for us, y'all. Um, yeah, your ancestors, your divine beings, your galactic beings, and not only that, so many more. Your animal guides, your, your, your spirit guides, uh, uh, earth guides, tree guides, uh, Greek guides, all of like Egyptian guides, we all have come together this moment for us, for you, for me. And have brought this person because we're special. We're a special kind of love. We, we are like the greatest love of all. We're going to teach each other things that like, whew, it's going to blow the world. We're going to be a perfect team is what I'm hearing. This is for you and me, okay? A perfect team. A perfect, perfect team that illuminates the world with greatness and, and specialness and light and love. And I love, look at, look at the Mork right here. A burning bush like he's Moses. Like the angels have come down, crazy, but that also that energy. For those that didn't know, Robin Williams was extremely psychic. When he left doing his thing from the camera and he sat there in the trailer going, Ugh, Capricorn, you've done this too, haven't you? And you're like, maybe you thought it was the Adderall. You thought it was maybe you do cocaine or you do some drug. Maybe, maybe not. It wasn't that. It was us. We know how special you are. We want to communicate, right? You are, what do we call that? We call it something. Mediumship is what it's called. Talking to spirits, like a medicine man or a medicine woman out in, in, in the jungle, out in the forest. That's what we are, and so much more. And you have a special lover coming in, and you're going to be very different, but the same. And look, she has the apple, the apple tree. It's like she has knowledge that you don't have that you want, but you have so much knowledge that she doesn't have. And this could be men and women who are watching right now. And I love there's a little snake over here, like she's Eve and this is Adam. Talk about a perfect couple. But Pat, in the Bible, I know, I know. What do you think? God makes mistakes? Eh, nope. It's how it was meant to be. All right? You are divinely guided, Capricorn. You are divinely guided. And the lovers, the lovers, the lovers is what's happening for you. And you are that Robin Williams, okay? You are funny, charismatic, beautiful. Of course, our highs are super high. Our lows can be low. But we're getting to that point where it's no longer a tsunami wave, right? Like this. No, it's like this and it stays high, and it stays high, and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, much like all our uh, subscriptions and uh, and views and everything. So please like, share, and subscribe, y'all. And leave me a comment. I'd like to know. I'd like to know. Be respectful, you. Be respectful. With that said, let's get this workout going, huh? All right, all right, all right. I'm going to move this out of the way. <clears throat> what do you guys think? This should work, right? Let's do it. My spirit guides right here. Thank you, team. Thank you so much for helping me. What a great read, everybody. I mean, really on point right here with our lives on this beautiful 4th of July. Not only are we celebrating, you know, this country's independence, Capricorn, we are celebrating our own independence. We are becoming so independent, meaning we won't need employers anymore. Uh, we will make our own income. We will do what we want, when we want, how we want. We will travel whenever we want. Your friends are going to be extremely jealous. They're going to try to talk shit, dude. And ladies, I'm so sorry about that. That's what I'm hearing. This is what we're going to do, though. And we're going to be, we're not doing it to throw it in their face, but they're going to try to make fun of you. Like, maybe some of you already have kids, but I'm seeing this scenario. This might be very specific. They're going to say, well, you're almost 30 or 40, and you don't, you know, you don't have kids. You're not, your lover is coming in. Don't you ever worry about that. You guys are going to be married, have kids, have a beautiful family. They're going to be so jealous of that. Because you guys will make little teenagers around each other. It's going to be so cute, the things you do. They're going to get sick. They're jealous. They're jealous of how great you are. Not only that, 
But what the two of you are going to do, what you're going to do, Capricorn, with your special someone who's come, coming in, Adam and Eve style, it's going to be beautiful, the amount of knowledge you all have, okay? You're going to, you're going to pull out your phone because they're, they're all going to try to shit on you. And you don't even know why. They group up. You won't hang out with them again after that. But you're going to go on your phone and be like, oh, cool. All right. They're like, what? What are you doing? You're like, oh, I just booked a, I booked a ticket to Australia and New Zealand for the next month because I can do that. Can you? They're all going to go silent. They're all going to go silent. And that's going to be a beautiful moment, a triumph. You're never going to hang out with them again. You're going to give them a chance uh, and they're going to they're going to prove you wrong. And it's not us versus them. It never was, right? That's how they see it. I'm just giving you the info, man. This is the senorita. This is the, you know, this is just how I'm hearing it. Okay? With that said, let's get this pull up going. Come on. Let's go. Get it. Come on. Come on. Get it. I'm hearing Pilates as well, y'all. Come on. Let's go. Two more. Two more. Come on. One more. One more. One more. Get it up. Get it. Enough of that. I also heard as I was doing pull-ups, the Rocky story. So, besides the actual Stallone writing that movie, thank you so much, guys, for walking with me here. I know it's a... Uh... Sorry, everyone. I probably should have rehearsed. <laughs> I should have rehearsed this as well. My bad. Here we go. So, Sylvester Stallone right in one year as he even says it i went from being a bum having no money right almost sleeping on the street selling my dog for for money like he had to sell his dog that was the worst day of his life he cried to winning an academy award okay and think of the think of the script he wrote called scripting he literally wrote that for his life it mimicked that exact movie scripting everyone do it it's gonna work i promise it's worked for me a bunch but the story I want to say, he was invited to the Academy Awards, right? These huge stars. He was like the, the honored one that year. And he invited his mom. And his mom said, well, uh, only, only if my hairdresser, Lisa or someone, can come. And he was like, mom, I, it doesn't work that way. I get, I get one ticket. I get one, you know, invite. I don't get to invite. It's, that's not how it works. And she said, well, if, if my hairdresser's not coming, then I don't want to go. And yes, that is his own mother, but the story we just told about you with the people, okay? I heard Bagadonis as well. Bagadonis, I'm sorry, it, the name means gift from God. It's a, you're getting a gift from God, know that. Just like Stallone. Things won't be, they'll be amazing. I'm not, Nothing's ever, everything's perfect because God doesn't make mistakes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See how they stop me and help me to say what needs to be said? His mom was so insecure. She's going to be around stars, beautiful people. She was so, yes, she was so insecure. She didn't know how to, people don't know how to react to other people's grand success. That's how it's going to be, Capricorn, but you're prepared. You are ready. You are moving forward better than you'll ever know, ever know. All right, let's get these pull downs. Again, we're going to have to. Um... Uh -oh. There we go. Yeah, this is really light, so I might have to do 100,000 of these, but that's okay. That's why I did those pull ups first. What's great about this thing being busted up, I have to really work, be on form here. Come on. Maybe not. Here we go. Good. Five more. Five more. Let's go. Can't slam it. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. Uh, we can do it. We can do it. Two more, Patrick. Come on. Uh, one more. One more. Bring it to me. Bring it to me. Get it up. Yes. Uh, nice and gentle. Here we go. <laughs> Did you hear that? That's why it's all busted up. All right. And again, I have to move the camera a bit here. Thank you for working with me. So note to self to all of us. I should rehearse the camera movements with what I'm doing workout wise. Little note to self here, everybody. Little note to self. I would love to be in a Creed movie or Rocky movie. They have yet to have an Apollo. Well, 
Creed is the Apollo Creed and Rocky, but what I mean is uh, they've yet to have like a, a fight, a fighter who can also train them, you know what I'm saying? Hey yo. With that said, focus. And let's do this, y'all. Deadlift time. Here we go. And I'll probably do about 20 of these because it is a lightweight. Three hundred workout. Come on. Yep. Come on. Keep going. Yep. Come on. Fifteen. We got more. Five more. Come on. Here's twenty. Nope. Five more. Come on. One more. Get it up. Yeah. Nice. So next rounds. I will go heavier. But Capricorn, that is your read. Thank you all so much for joining. I love you guys. I love you, love you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, y'all.